telling a story without words is, is emotion, right? You have to look at every event, every situation, whether it's a wedding, whether it's a mitzvah, you look at the expressions on people's faces. You look at the emotion that takes place when a candid photo is actually being taken. Those are moments that people treasure years to come. It all begins with that initial interview, finding out what the client wants, what they're looking for, what their vision is, to make sure that you capture and create the mood of the moment. And I think that's where the excitement comes out and I can actually explain to them the process, how fluid it is, and actually on the day of the event, ensure that they're hiring the right photographer that's gonna deliver the result that they're looking for from the beginning of the shoot through the end of the event or the end of the process. In photography, to be a good photographer, you have to be adaptable. You have to be able to plan and be ready to move on a moment's notice to adjust and adapt accordingly. And I think the interesting part about a journalistic approach is that you're actually capturing things as they unfold. Oftentimes I arrive early, look around the particular venue, I begin to kind of visualize in my mind where I want to have those particular pictures taken and where I want to have those staged to make sure that I capture the essence of the particular location and making sure that the bride and groom or whatever event is taking place is actually captured in the best possible way. Then when you pull it all together in the very end, folks say, I didn't even realize you took that picture. And that's the ideal compliment to me, the opportunity for me to capture a moment, tell a story, put it all together, and they didn't even know that the photographer was there taking that moment. 